for your personal revenue stack, you know, starting a side hustle, you know, you hear everywhere people talk about it, doing things uh, to make extra revenue. We I did, you know, episode 380. I, we talked about how I started a side hustle and, you know, uh, it, it's a million dollar business now and it works out great. I love it. I've learned a tremendous amount. And it was, again, using skills I already knew about, but with a completely different product line that I knew absolutely nothing about. Right. Um, but I guarantee you have skills and or and or access to information or, you know, something that you can get a, a business or a, some sort of revenue generator uh, going. And I, I would say don't overlook the I call it the power of small sums. You know, you've heard me say it before on the show, hey, if you can make 500 bucks, you can make 5000 and then you can scale it and make 50000 and then make 500000 But that that first small chunk of money is is uh, or can be challenging and And, but it can be the most important one because it teaches you that you've got something that it's think of it as the spark that lights the fire right yeah and and a proof of concept right so you can see oh look i'm making a little bit of money and somebody uh, paid for this like i did a thing whatever it is you created a product you have a service you made a website whatever it is if if somebody pays you for it once OK, you're on to something now you might have to tweak and and rejigger some things to make it appealing to more customers or whatever. But it, sure. the, the one person that is you know, the one company, whatever it is, the one the first customer, the first dollar that comes in, the first five dollars that comes in. That's key right there, because it lets you know, aha, I've got something here and I can go with it. Yeah. And I, I would There's say reason. Oh, go ahead. No, I was going to say, you know, it's it can be hard and you, it is it, it can you can find yourself in a position where you say, well, I just don't know what that other idea would be. That's fine. Embrace your impatience, though. Don't let that die out. If you are, you know, if you realize you have, you know, one or or maybe even three items in your revenue stack right now, but you want to have five, stay with that. You will. All you have to do is focus on wanting more. And the ideas are there. You will notice them if you are looking for them. So don't worry about not having the idea. Just embrace your impatience about it. And you will start to see the things that might become the spark for that next business. Yeah. And to your point, none of this is easy. We talk about it. You know, and we're fluid in this because we have failed so many times at trying to make it work. Right. And but you you don't have to hit it out of the park with with every single thing. You you're not going to get. Yeah. Yeah. You're, it's just not going to happen. And I could tell you story after story. You know, I still own what I would argue is the most expensive television set in the world because I had the foolish idea to get into the TV business at the absolute wrong time. And I keep that TV to remind me that, you know, hey, that cost you like a quarter of a million dollars <laughs> right there uh, that I never made back. And so starting small, trying new things uh, and, and, you know, really seeing what works, generating a little bit of money. And maybe you find some little business or side hustle or a new part of your existing business that just generates a small amount of money. But, you know, if you own a business and all of a sudden you're generating even, you know, an extra few thousand dollars a month, that may pay for another employee to help you, you know, ramp up something else. And yeah. you just never know where it's going to lead. So the key is to try it. Yeah. Yeah. That's the key. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 And and the thing, the thing, I'll, a couple of things, you know, I stole this, this stack concept from, from Scott Adams and he talks about it in a relation to a, a talent stack and is that you should diversify your, uh, your talents as well and not count on, you know, being the best at one single thing, but rather you should know a number of things that have give you a broader uh, set of skills in life to make you more successful. Same, same concept with this revenue stack, not putting everything into, you know, one laser like focus that certainly can be successful. And, and, and history is full. The world is, it's not even history. Present day is full of plenty of people who obsessively focus on building one business and doing one thing with that business and are wildly successful with it. Absolutely. If, if the risk is much bigger, the reward can be bigger. Um, but you know, if you look at the you, I would I would argue though that those people, if you dig deep enough, you will find 
that at the very least, it's not the only thing they ever tried, right? They they may yeah, be oh, laser okay. focused on it yeah. right now, but there was likely a time where they seemed like a scatterbrained maniac doing all kinds of different things. And one of them started to take off and, and they chose to just forget about everything else and focus on that. There's nothing wrong with that, but yeah. that that's yeah. You don't hear about most of those things, Correct. right? They're focused on the the story, and yeah. uh, you know, I mentioned Mark Cuban earlier and wanted to talk about this current thing. You know, th- this guy's the whole history is riddled with failure, and yeah. you know, talks about that stuff. That that that's just the way it is. But the story he tells is, oh, you know, broadcast.com, and I plugged in the. I wanted to listen to the baseball, you know, show on the internet. Couldn't do it. Da 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 da. Well, right. That, that's looking back and creating a, you know, a powerful narrative. Yeah, what was it? Steve Jobs um, said that that it's you, the only way you can connect the dots is going backwards. You never, you yeah. never actually see them when you're going forwards. It's just that's yeah. right. 